This is Gary Bembridge of tipsfortravellers.com. First sighted by Christopher Columbus in 1493, the British and French fought over this beautiful island of St Kitts for centuries, until 1983 it became fully independent. Today an endless stream of cruise ships like the Celebrity Reflection and the Queen Mary II are welcomed at Port Zante in the capital of Basseterre at a simple but well located dock. Cruising is now the key source of revenue for this island since the collapse of the St Kitts sugar industry. Today St Kitts is all about tourism and cruise passengers stepping off the cruise ship have a short walk to the entrance into Bassetier. Here the tourist board and a taxi rank will help you plan your trip to one of the most stunning beaches you can possibly find in the world. Getting to one of the stunning beaches will only cost you around seven US dollars per person. This is my favorite beach, South Fries Beach. It's quiet, with soft sand, good swimming, and great snorkeling. Other popular beaches include South Frigate Bay and Turtle and Cockershell Bay. Many of the beaches will have rocky reefs with sea urchins, so wearing rubber soled shoes or only swimming in safe mock areas is important. The hire of a chair and umbrella will only cost you around $10 for the day. As you can see, the seas are calm, soothing, and incredibly inviting. Most of the beaches will have beach bars like this, the shipwreck bar at South Friars, serving Cajun chicken, burgers and drinks. Again, very reasonably priced, and all priced in US dollars. Visiting the beach is my absolute top tip for any trip to St Kitts. The beaches are stunning, calm, beautiful and very inviting. After the beach, it's worth spending some time exploring Bassetier, starting with the old part of the town. At times it can be a bit grubby, but always vibrant. This is the famous Circus Square, where roads with British heritage and tradition like Liverpool Road, Fort and Bank Street lead off it. Spend time exploring these. Close to where the ship's dock is the more modern and less authentic and traditional duty and tax free shopping malls. Shops like Diamonds International, Effie Jewelers and various gift shops dominate. Locals will occasionally put up some traditional Carib Indian dancing. The shops are handy for Port Zante and it's a short walk back to your ship. And so after a morning at the beach and an afternoon shopping, it's time for the ship to depart and head for the next island in the Caribbean. While St Kitts may only be 61 miles long and 23 miles wide and have more monkeys than people, it is one of my most favourite Caribbean islands. It's beautiful, with incredible beaches and stunning scenery. A real must-see island. For more videos and tips for travellers, visit the site at tipsfortravellers.com.